Hi, Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of November. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords. So the Three of Pentacles, we see the artisan, the builder, the creator here, who is working on, looks like he is working on the structure. And he's using his talents and his skills and his abilities to make something beautiful, to demonstrate and to illustrate his capabilities and so here he's working on either the cathedral or this building and here are people here so you know they may be giving him advice they may be giving him the idea or uh, you know the desired result of what they want this could be the customer this could be work someone working in tandem with the builder but we see three people here. This is a group card activity. You know, maybe these people have the money behind the structure. So we have three people who are working toward a common goal, which is to create and to build something that represents their talents, their energies, and it could be long lasting when we look at this beautiful structure. And so this really is about working with others and finding a way to work together. And um, often when you do a good job and it, and it takes a while for a finished product, you know, you may be thinking, gosh, I'm never going to, I'm never going to finish out of this. I'm never going to get out of this. But, you know, once, once the project is complete, then you can stand back and look at it. Then others notice as well. Others see the amount of effort that went into it, the amount of skill, and that, that may lead to increased business. So here we have people working for the common goal of building in this particular illustration something that's going to be beautiful. So then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles sits on his horse, and he is holding on to that giant pentacle, and he's looking out over the lands. And so he's one of the knights that's not moving. He's stationary. And this really goes to the heart of pentacles, which is about slow moving, steady, steadfast, hardworking energy of seeing the details, the plan, sticking to the plan, putting in the time and the effort uh, to get there. Focused on the end result and we'll do you know, whatever needs to be done each day in order to get there. There's maybe not a lot of slack with this Knight of Pentacles. He may be here stationary, but he's thinking and planning and preparing and probably is thinking, how am I going to make more of these great pentacles to build a stronger foundation? Uh, not the flashiest knight in tarot, but one that can be relied upon who's responsible, who will get the job done, who will show the leadership if leadership is lacking within a group. This knight will take the lead and to ensure that things continue to progress. So as we're looking at this three of pentacles, here's the, um, yes, the three of pentacles, we're looking at the knight here and the knight is, you know, slow and steady. It's taking time perhaps to make this beautiful structure and to be patient and then you will have the reward. So with this grounded, pragmatic energy of the pentacles, here we have the six of swords. And we see the, the woman and the child in the boat. And we see the oarsman who is helping to uh, row them away. And they're leaving the rippled water and headed toward land and smooth waters. And this comes as a result of, you know, it's picking up and going that for whatever reason, something hasn't been right for you. 
whether it's in a friendship, whether it's in a situation at work, whether it's a primary love relationship. When we see the Six of Swords, we think transition, we think movement. We think leaving behind something that was either stressful or simply unsatisfactory. And you're like, I'm not going to waste another day. I'm going to head to a better place where I'm going to find peace and happiness. So uh, sometimes, you know, as I look at the, the pentacles here, sometimes it takes a while to get to this feeling. Sometimes it takes people years to make a move. Others, it could be quickly that you're, you know, you see it right off the bat, it's not going to work out and you're going to move on. So the Six of Swords is finding relief. It's a way for you to find relief. We can, uh, we can also look at this card as removing yourself from a situation uh, on a temporary basis. And I would say this because often uh, you can be in a work situation or even in a marriage, a relationship, where things get a little rocky and you need a break. You just need to take a break. You need to remove yourself from what's going on. And then maybe you can find some clarity. You can understand what's happening and you can either come back or you can decide that we're going to make this more permanent. And I always tend to think of this as, you know, the people in the lunchroom who are gossiping about management or they're gossiping about their coworkers. And sometimes you just get sick of hearing the same people rag on others all day long. And so you, you pick up your lunch and then you go eat in your office or you go eat somewhere else. And that's, it's a smaller version really perhaps, but it's still the same idea, which is to take yourself out of something that is causing stress, uh, you know, riling you up, whatever it may be, dissatisfaction or feeling unfulfilled is here you have support. You have people who will support you in your decisions to make a transition, to take time for yourself, to travel, whatever it may be that you need to uh, clear your head perhaps. So interesting spread for the day. Let's take a look at what we have for the numbers. We have three and one is four. Four and six is 10. 10 is, is reduces to one and one is about new beginnings, a new cycle. It's about being inspired. It's about leadership, being original. And then I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. intuition. So we all love intuition. We all love tapping into it. Sometimes we don't trust it, but I would say that, uh, your intuition is such an important, excuse me, important tool to have within, uh, your practices, you know, of listening to your dreams. In fact, I just heard something that someone was saying that what you eat the night before can impact your dreams and whether you remember them. So I've never heard that. So I'm very curious about if anyone else has heard that, but you know, dreams, messages, gut feelings, I would say in intuitively people know when they hit this point, when they need to take off, when they need to move away from a situation. And so trust your intuition. So I hope that you have a great day. And if you found this reading helpful, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.